you guys, it's Vera, and it is time for our first booster box of Guilds of Ravnica on the channel. I've been very excited about Guilds, I've been very interested in what it is going to bring with the new standard rotation, so I'm very excited to be able to open some. I did want to quickly, though, before we start the opening, give a shout out to Command Zone Games in Norwood, Massachusetts for providing product for today's video. I've used them in the past before, and they are a great local game store. They're the local game store I go to for pre-release and they're just all around really amazing. I'll link their Facebook down below in case you want to check them out. The owner of the local game store as well as also part of our community so you will see him hanging around a little bit. I'll point him out when I see him in chat and stuff. But if you guys are looking for a good local game store in Massachusetts or somewhere to buy product, definitely a great place to go. And you'll probably also hear about them more in my upcoming videos and some future products we have. So it is time for guilds of Ravnica. First box I'm opening, haven't opened any, I opened pre-release kits of course, but damn that's nice. Very excited to see what we can pull today. Don't forget Magic the Gathering Portal, the thing that doesn't exist yet. I did make a video down below in case you, uh, you were wondering about this little uh, companion app that's actually not out now. So you guys do know that I like to give my first impressions on this stuff, and the packaging itself doesn't look that bad. The arts that they showed didn't look that great. I mean, it's the same arts, but actually seeing it on booster packs, it's not that bad. I still don't like how Rao looks. We don't know what character that is. I think it's Lazav, though. And, of course, Vraska looks amazing in this set. The packaging overall doesn't look as bad as it could, but it is time to crack some packs. I have got the packs up here, you guys know I always crack right into the middle row, and it is time to crack into our first booster box. I probably will just explore the commons for probably two or three packs like we usually do. Gateway Plaza, not bad. But, oh my gosh, this art is so freaking amazing. This art is so great. That's on the top eight map. That was actually one of the first things that we actually got spoiled out of uh, Guilds of Ravnica, so that's amazing. Lava Coil, Night Veil Predator, Imp, and an Overgrown Tomb. First, first Shockland. Actually, in my pre-release, I didn't open any Shocklands. I didn't see a lot of people that opened Shock, so I'm very happy about that. And a Foil Common, not that bad in a Soldier Token. Very happy to, um, to see that in the first pack. I absolutely love the arts of the new ones, of course. The is it one, of course, the um is 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 the best art. It's like this. Oh, it's it's hard to explain. You guys, you guys will have to see it. So, how were your weekends? Did you guys go to pre-release? Did you guys open anything amazing? You guys will have to let me know down down in the comments below. You guys did send me quite a few pictures on Twitter and also in um in Discord, which was awesome to see. Invert invent status and statue. Silent Dart, and a Chance for Glory, our first Mythic of the Box. Okay, that was that was pretty fast. Of course, it's Oriella. Very nice art, though. Very solid. And a Guildgate, and a Bird Illusion. Okay, so not a bad Mythic for the, for the, uh, for the start. I could probably see this being used in other formats. I don't really think this is going to be great and standard, though, but who knows? I'm not a, I'm not an expert, you guys, obviously. Maximize Velocity, the card everyone was super sad to see that wasn't actually a creature because it was the best part of the Guilds of Ravnica trailer. <laughs> so disappointed. That was like the disappointment of like the year for everybody. Boros Challenger, Night Vale Sprite, a Giant, and an Amara. Very nice. Um, you know, Amara's pretty good card. Oh, and Selesnya Guildgate. Okay. You know, Amara, not uh, not bad. A lot of people actually are going to be trying to play this in some sort of commander deck. I don't know, I haven't seen much of it, but I know that a lot of people um, have been interested in that. I absolutely love the art really quickly. She looks very feminine, she looks very pretty. Amara is always a character, though, that always looks pretty solid to me, and she, of course, looks very solid in Guilds of Ravnica. I'm very excited to see that she's back and not dead, of course, because I hate when characters that are good get killed off. And there she is in the next pack. She just always looks so perfect. I don't know. They never mess her up. I hope they don't mess her up. Let's just let's just say that. 
So we've uh, we've looked at a couple of the commons. We'll we'll start scrolling through them. Integrity, intervention, price of fame, a shaman, and a beast whisperer. I'm so happy to get this card. I didn't pull any, and this card is so good. This is definitely a spec of mine, honestly. I think this is super good. Holy shit. Nice. We got a Foil Mythic Underrealm Lich. This card is already the second top card in the set. Never mind a foil. That looks gorgeous. Can I just say that foiling looks great? I really hope that it doesn't curl, but that foiling is amazing. Holy shit. Hype is real. Box is definitely a great one. We started off in the first pack pretty damn strong. Pretty... Pretty damn strong with the shock. Now we're moving into the foil mythic. Holy crap. Nice. I have to say, though, like, card quality doesn't feel any better, but I didn't see a whole lot of curling. I don't know. My cards, the foils that I've pulled so far, haven't curled at all. You'll definitely have to share me some pictures if if yours are already curling. A lava coil, a mage, not bad. A guild mage and a, eh, it's it's okay. A deafening clarion, it's, it's it's not bad. Oh, an Vraska emblem. Is that a foreshadow? Hello, are we gonna get a Vraska? I wish. I wish. She's pretty nice. Honestly, though, I'd prefer a Rowl probably because. Where I play is it all the time. Ral is a just a better card to pull in my opinion. Well, Vraska's good, but I'd find more use, of course, out of Ral because he's he's kind of my boy. Firemind's research. So mad at this. This was actually the stamped promo that I got this weekend, and of course, it's also story spotlight. But it's also getting a um, I think it's like an open house promo or whatever with a different art. So like, ugh. I keep pulling this thing, and it's not even a card that I'm going to really use. Pretty underwhelming pull, honestly. Also, I was pretty, pretty uh, upset to see that this weekend. So many freaking people with Assassin's Trophy. Hello? Can I get an Assassin's Trophy, please? An in oh, wrong, wrong pack. Messing up the pack maintenance. An Adept. Okay, um... You know, not bad, but something I could probably find to go somewhere and use. We're almost on the first row. You guys know I always go for the middle row, and holy shit, that's amazing pull. Just saying. Just saying. Another guild mage. The guild mages this time were okay, but Izzet's was absolutely garbage. Blood operative, not bad. And that's it. <laughs> Blood operative, not bad. Can I just say how many people are triggered at this? Maybe you should put, like, professional players on there, not worry about commentary. Maybe you should put something useful on there. Just, just, just throwing the bone out there. Just throwing it out there, boys. Maybe we should put something useful on there. Goblin Electromancer. Holy shit, I'm so glad this card got reprinted. I pulled some and I was like, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Mystic, Colossus, nothing amazing. Um, and okay, a, a card that I'll never, a card that I'll never use. Convine and Concoct. Okay, no, nothing, nothing I'll use. Nothing I'll use. I would love out of this box, besides a Ral, and of course, besides an Ash Trophy, which, by the way, I'm going to call it Astrophy because that sounds amazing. I do want the Doom Whisperer. I think that card is amazing. I definitely could see myself utilizing that in a bunch of formats. So I, um, well, a bunch of decks, I should say. Yeah, that's what I should say. In a citywide bus, not that bad. White was pretty powerful over the pre-release weekend. Um, I was actually surprised how well Selesnya actually held up. That was one of the guilds that a lot of people were thinking that would... Uh, underwhelm and it actually did a lot better than I expected which is surprising I mean not a lot of people built it but it definitely did good for the amount of people that did play it vindicator not bad so we've officially opened up a full row can we just say this wait all right so before before I say it voice before I say it, I'm gonna give it a fair heck of a chance I'm gonna give it a fair heckin chance hold on you guys are gonna be like what Hatchery spider. Okay. Okay. So we've officially opened a full row now. Combine that. And we didn't get any arena booster packs. 
and they're supposed to be in this set and um yeah i don't i don't see any hello it's supposed to be one in one of every eight packs so definitely should have pulled two out of that row just saying starting on the right now holy shit that was annoying sorry for the ear bang sorry for the the loud damn noises guild summit guild pat holy shit and we got a row. Holy crap. This box is pretty damn good. I do know that together these don't make a full booster box, MSRP or anything, or even close. But these are very, very lovely pulls. Glad to see Ral. I'm definitely going to be playing him at some point. Probably in standard, so I'm very excited to see him. And... I just feel like Ral's art wasn't the best this time around. Just saying, wish he had a different, more knowledge, more, um, just a, just a different look. Look, a card I'll never use. I never use these cards. I just always feel really underwhelmed with them. I feel like they're just not as good as they could be, you know what I'm saying? You guys picking up what I'm putting down? I know you are. I know you know what I mean. Oh my god. So cute. The cat. Holy crap. Vivid revival. Okay. We have seen one shock. Um, we've seen an, um, two amazing mythics. I mean, foil and a non-foil planeswalker. That's amazing. But, um, wow. I feel really underwhelmed right now. Really underwhelmed. Bounty agent. Okay. Oh, and this, really quick, this thing. Uh, the creature tokens. The Creature Forge, those came out, didn't they? they? Those came out this weekend, didn't they? I didn't get any. I didn't see any. Maybe they're not out yet. I'd like them to be out. I'm pretty interested in them. I'll probably, um, I'll probably get a couple, you know, show them off to you guys. There's something I'm interested in. I like the little niche products, you know? Just say, just saying, that's an amazing art. Okay, can we have more good, like, arts lately, please? Sacred Foundry. Okay, so we've pulled, um, we've pulled two. Two shocks now. I'm pretty happy with that. I can um I can survive with two shocks. I do wish maybe we could get a Braska. Maybe a Doom Whisperer. Assassin's trophy would definitely make this box. But um I'm 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 happy with the pull so far. We've still got um half of this row and then the full other row, so could uh could be worse. And then a rat. I don't, I don't know how to say her name. It's Rata. I can't, I can't, I can't say it, bro. I can't say it. She's just the silencer. You know, she's just the silencer. Also, really quick, you guys, don't forget to download Magic Portal, the game that doesn't exist. <coughs> moving on, moving on. But, I mean, the book hasn't been too, too bad yet. I mean, I do have hope that it could maybe, uh, push over the edge a little bit. Holy crap, that looks great, though. That looks great, though. Can I just say? That looks nice. Imagine that in foil. It's not even a... Okay. It's it's just the insert card, Vera. Can you not get excited about insert... No. I'm gonna get excited over insert cards if I want to. And a steam vent! Jeez. Alright, so, um, three shocks in a row. That's... Well, not in a row, but in the box so far. That's nice. So, it looks like it's going to be about the same exact, like, uh, ratio. Steam vents, obviously. Hey, a murmuring mystic, not bad. Um, so Steam vents is probably my favorite art out of all of them. Also, why did I put? I just got excited over a mythic. Steam vents is probably my favorite art out of all of them. I just really love it. I think it looks really. Is it honestly though? I think that all of the shocks really just look so themed and really nice. So I'm happy to see that. Well, now that we've seen quite a bit of everything, I'm just gonna start steamrolling this for you guys. Cause, um, Pitless Gorgon, very nice. Cause I'm not sure what else this box is going- And a Lazav, okay. Um, I was gonna say I don't know what else this box is going to bring, but obviously it's going to bring us another mythic, and it is going to be Lazav. Lazav is a pretty good card, a lot of people have been looking for it for EDH decks, honestly. I might end up doing a tech on this bo bad boy. Um, it's a- it's a really nice card. I mean, the art looks pretty solid. I mean, you know, it's it's not a bad card. It's a pretty good mythic. I don't think it's worth much, though. Even pre-release prices, I think, is only worth, like, six or seven bucks. 
I mean, you guys know I look for all aspects of a booster box before I say buy and do it or not. And I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. But overall, not too bad. Midnight Reaper. Okay, um, you know, could be utilized in a black zombie deck, you know, mono black or even Golgari. Probably Golgari. I was interested in building a Golgari deck, but, um, I don't know, I just can't synergize with Golgari, I feel like. I feel like it's just, it's kind of, is it? Hey, is it time for Ravnica? Um, it's ya boy, Niv Mizzet, the boy that works out. Damn boy, do you lift? Cause you look strong as hecko. Oh my god, that was so bad. <laughs> oh god, that was so bad. I made that joke over the weekend too, and I was like, oh my god. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? But I feel like I can't synergize well with other, um, just other guilds besides Boros and, like, is it? I don't know. Thief of Sanity. This was actually the card that I got at a, as the, um, pre-release stamped promo, which I was having- HOLY SHIT! <laughs> oh, boy, what up? I forgot this thing was in here and I got a foil one! Oh, baby, yeah! How you doing, honey? Commander players. Who? Commander players where? It's not an ass's trophy, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's pretty. That's nice. I'll uh, take that. So last pack of the right row, and then I've got one row left. That's a nice one. So far, this booster box is pretty solid. Mission briefing, the, um, the snappy, you know, the new standard snappu boy. New standard snap. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I really like it, though. I really like it. Hey, guys, in case you didn't know really quickly, make sure to um, use Play Ravnica as your uh, promo code in Arena if you do play Arena. Make sure to unlock Play Ravnica and you get three boosters. You know, three boosters is nice when you're a free-to-play player and you don't want to spend money on a beta game, and that art's nice. And, um, and yeah, you just want some packs. Unmoored Ego. Yeah. It's an okay card. I mean, um, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. It ain't bad, boys. It ain't bad. What else do we get? Okay. I'm just, I'm skimming at this point. Okay, Thousand Eyes. Not, um, not bad. Just not something I would particularly play, but it is, um, it's a solid card. You guys know probably at this point that I like to complete collections, so it is nice to get a very wide assortment rather than being like, I want three asses trophy out of this box, please. A Cyclops. Ooh. Ooh. That looks good. I feel like the foiling looks a lot better than it has out of these packs. Like, I feel like foiling is definitely 100% solid. Now, if it's a curl, um, I'm not sure because, I mean card quality doesn't seem any better but if the, the foils do look nice i don't know dawn of hope so i'm i have hope maybe i have hope i haven't seen any of my cards curl but then again i haven't really taken them out of the box at all because who even does that crackling drake i've only gotten two of these now and i still need two more so hopefully out of the other boxes will open oh guild may just form not bad not bad so only a couple packs left, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we are on seven. So not not a bad box overall. Have we hit MSRP or even close or let's say even that hundred dollar mark? I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, divine visitation. That's nice. Definitely saw this played over the weekend. I was pretty surprised with how many people actually played that card. It's a really nice mythic though. I mean, I'll take it. It's got some playability. It's got some playability aspects to it. Necrotic Wound, Join Shields, Creeping Chill, and a card I'll never use. Too bad. Oof. I just feel like this clothes needs to be a little bit better. That Chromatic Lantern, though? Oof. This box has been overall pretty decent, though. Yeah, League Guild Mage. Honestly, can I just rant really quickly? This thing is awful compared to the others that we've seen in past Ravnica sets, and even in this set, it's pretty damn trasho. The first... Well, not the first unicorn, but it's a unicorn. Hey, a legion zen, not bad. And a collar, the culprit. This could could be worse. You know, could uh, could definitely be worse. Let's see what else we can get in the clothes. Sorry, my pack maintenance is trasho. I kind of want you guys to see that stuff. At the end, in just a couple seconds, we will go over exactly all that we pulled. Legion, light of the legion. Holy guacamole! Three packs left. 
no ass asses trophy no ass boys no ass i'm sorry guys i've let you all down i've let you all down there's no ass in this video damn sorry boys i know that's what you guys came here to see but it's not here bounty of might oh my god this freaking card yeah just make that a card last pack can we get an ass probably not this was a pretty solid box overall though you guys really really solid pulls Ooh, a card i'll never use and a glow spore shaman at least that art looks real nice though mm. Mm. definitely a card i absolutely love hey we got the um we got the rowl emblem so you guys this was a pretty uh pretty pretty solid box you know what i'm saying we got some good cards mainly the mission briefing uh the lazav the of course shocks and the rowl was really good over on this side of things definitely the um the great pulls and out of the foils honestly i mean we got some damn solid foils but honestly the lich and the chromatic lantern that is awesome so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a like i'm going to be i'm going to be um doing a guild of ravnica where i do the three packs and patreons do get a mythic out of it i will probably start that in a couple days but let me know so far what you guys are thinking about Guilds of Ravnica. How did you guys do at your pre-release? Let me know your record down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this booster box opening. And I'll talk to you guys again really soon.